हाई डि वन होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड एंड थैंक यू फॉर विजिटिंग माई चैनल टू स्टार्ट लर्निंग समथिंग न्यू इफ यू आर विजिटिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड इट मोटिवेट्स मी टू ब्रिंग मच मोर यूजफुल कंटेंट रियल टाइम एग्जाम्पल्स एंड द मेजर चैलेंजेस यू फेस वाइल डूइंग द ऑटोमेशन विच विल बी रियली बेनिफिशियल फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ यू सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ टूडेज टॉपिक विच इज़ अ वेरी कॉमन टॉपिक इन एक्सेल बट लिटल बिग ट्रिकी वैन वी हैव टू इम्प्लीमेंट इट यूजिंग एनी ऑफ द आर पी आई टूल्स टूडे वील बी फोकसिंग ऑन डूइंग द सर्च फंक्शनैलिटी दैट इज फाइंडिंग एनी वैल्यू यूजिंग कंट्रोल एफ इन एक्सेल यूजिंग ब्लू प्रिजम सो लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एन एक्सेल विच इज़ अवेलेबल ऑन माई डेस्क टॉप एंड यू कैन सी दैट इट हैज़ बेसिकली अ डमी डेटा सेट विद द फर्स्ट नेम लास्ट नेम एज एंड जेंडर नाउ If I want to practically implement this, then how will I do that? I'll just perform Control F, and it will give me the option to find what exactly value I want to search. Suppose I want to search Peter, so I'll do P T E R, click on Enter, and here you will get the cell where exactly it found the first occurrence of it, right? Now, similarly, if I want to perform this functionality using Blue Prism, then as of now there is no content or there is no action which is available in the ms excel vbos now how to do that in order to perform that we have to use the code stage so that is we'll be using vba scripting or vb.net code to write a particular piece of script for implementing this functionality okay let's do that now let's go to blue prism and start implementing it so for that what i'll do i'll go to ms excel vbo that is a default vbo which is being provided by blue prism i'll go inside that and now create a new action right click on the top click on new and give a particular name for example find value you can see that it has given me the basic structure start and and now what exactly we have to do we have to write a code stage so i'll drag and drop the code stage let me zoom it and now it is asking me to write the code so i'll be teaching you how to write the code and for that you have to understand what exactly is our requirement in order to write a code what are the basic things which you will be requiring since you have to implement the coding on this particular sheet that is sheet 1 right so first of all you have to get the value of worksheet from somewhere now how to get that value for that i'll be using the inbuilt code being provided by blue prism that is if you go to the initialize stage and this is the information section right if you double click on it and go to the global code you will see the whole functionality of ms excel vbo is written here if you try to understand this code you will understand how blue prism has implemented the different functionalities in excel in this you will see one important function which they have created which is get workbook so let me search that and you can see that this is a function which they have created okay now what this function does it basically takes handle as a input parameter and name name of the workbook as a important parameter so we will be just using this get workbook function now how to use that let's go back to our code stage i'll simply use get workbook and i'll pass the handle and the workbook name so these should be the input parameters for my code how i will do that i'll just copy this name handle and pass it to the input so this is my handle it's of number type and here i'll create a variable rename handle so you can see that i have created one variable i'll just drag and drop it here similarly i'll do for workbook so let me copy the name workbook it's a type text and i'll create a variable in the text section right click let me rename it and this is a workbook so i'll just drag and drop it here right so this is how i got the workbook but i have not stored it somewhere so i need to define a variable for that in order to define a variable how i'll define the variable using dim variable dim suppose wb as object so i'm defining a variable wb and its data type is object okay now i'll use this wb so whatever workbook name i'll get i'll simply store it in the wb okay now we have to implement the control f functionality in the worksheet not in the workbook how to get the worksheet so i'll define a new variable ws that is worksheet so what i'll do wb dot so there's an inbuilt action which will give me the worksheet name active 
she so basically what i have done first i have got the workbook name and then after that on that workbook whatever is of active sheet i'll store it in the ws variable now i want to implement the functionality of control f so how the control of functionality is basically works if you do it manually there are two ways okay if you just press control f this will search peter in the whole sheet basically in this particular workbook as majority of the sheet is blank that's why you'll not feel the difference but if you have lakhs and lakhs of records it takes a lot of time to search through the range and now this is the first way where you are searching the whole excel sheet second way is defining a range if i define suppose this range now if i try to search peter it will not find it because the range is limited if i define this range only and tries to find the value you can see that it has given me the answer so range is very crucial that's why we will define another variable which is range so let me give the name rng as a short form name so rng is equal to this range will work on active sheet so i'll use ws as a variable and the inbuilt function of range and here i need to provide dart cell and end cell these are the basic inbuilt functions which you must be aware of and this you will learn with experience as soon as you start writing a lot of more code you will understand what are the different functions available and how to use them so i'm using a range function to select that particular range and for that i need to pass the start cell and end cell value so let me pass this as an input variable this is of type text and another let me create a variable start cell and then the end cell so now after getting the range we now have to search the value and in order to search the value we'll be using the for each loop so let me write the code first then i'll try to explain how we have achieved that functionality so we are using for each record in the range if in string record dot value is here we will be using the value to find what exact value we want to find okay for that we have to create a new variable called value to find this is of type text and we'll again create a new variable we'll give the same name value to find and we can just drag and drop it so here we have to pass that particular value value to find and if this value is found out in that case let me put the bracket here if this is greater than zero that means we found that particular value and now since if the value is found out then we have to store it somewhere right and let's store it in the data table and for that we have to define a new data table then table as new data table and before adding the value to this particular data table we have to add a column so we'll add the columns here columns dot add what exact value you want to give to that particular column suppose i want to give cell reference okay so now we have defined a new data table in that i have defined a column name called cell reference because i'll be saving value of the cell reference in this particular table and if that condition is satisfied in that case i'll add a new row table dot rows dot add is a function which i'll be using and in this what value i want to pass record dot address false comma false this function basically will gonna add the value of the address which is a5 in this case and it will give me the result and once this is done i'll end the if statement and finally we'll do the next so that means this is how the for each loop will gonna work for every record in my range it will try to check the value it will try to identify this value in this particular record dot value if it is found then only it will add the address of that particular found record in this table and in the end we can just pass and we can just pass the table value in the output collection so let me create output collection this of collection type let me create a new variable and it's done okay so if i try to check the code you can see that there are no syntax errors everything is perfect let me make small modifications here one of the modification which you will realize at later stages is that in this case if we try to identify peter it does not matter if we type peter like this or peter with small p like this so it will be able to identify but in our case it will not be the scenario we have to convert the search criteria in the same either in the lower case or in the upper case so that the bot is able to identify the whole value so we'll use upper case in this case also we'll use upper case and to be on the safer side let me define this record as one of the variable as well okay now if i try to check the code you can see that there are no syntax errors let me give the name find value let me click on okay and these are the variables these are the input variables 
which I have defined. This is my output collection. Let me connect both of the dots. Let me pass the output collection here. And let me pass all the input variables. Starting with the handle, let me copy paste this. Then workbook, then start cell, end cell, and value to find. Let me copy paste these values. And we are done. So let me now publish it and our find value code is ready. If you just reset it, you can see that there are zero errors. That means we are doing great from this side. Let me save it, find value, functionality added. Let's go to the process studio. Let me close this. Let me create a new process quickly. Find value process. Let me zoom it out. And let's start with the basic functionality. So we'll be using the MS Excel VBO. So this is my MS Excel VBO. Let's start with the create instance first. So we'll be using create instance. After creating instance, we generally use open workbook. So we'll be opening the workbook. It has to pass the handle. So if you see the create instance, output is a handle. Okay, so let me create that. After that, we'll be opening the workbook. Open workbook will pass the handle. And now it is requesting the file name. So let me create a variable first. Here I'll be using file path, which is of type text. This is my file. Let me close it. So this is my file, test file. So shift right click and you can use this copy as path. Let me pass this value here. Remember that when you do copy as path, it will bring with double quotes. So you have to remove the double quotes. After that, just pass this variable. And in the output, you will get the workbook name. So we'll be using this workbook name. After open workbook, so we'll be using the show functionality in order to see what exactly is happening from the Excel end. So it will be show. If you want, you can maximize the sheet as well. So for maximizing the workbook, we'll be using set window state. What is the state we want? We want max. If you want to minimize state, you can write min, min, maximize. After maximizing, you have to use our newly created code that is find value. So let's use that code find value. Just pass the sheet details. Just pass the variables. Workbook name, start cell. Let's search in starting from A1 till say Z20. Okay. And what exactly value we want to find? We want to find Peter. And see what is output. Let me rename it find value. Now let's see what happens. You can see that it has opened and this is the output collection. You can see that it has given me result as A5, which is the exact value A5. Now if I try to search black, let me reset it. Let me resize it so that it's visible. And now this time we will be searching for black with P small. Okay, let's run it. So you can see that the value is B7 now. And this is a B7. So you can see that the code is working perfectly fine. And after that, the last few steps are after finding the value, you can just close the file, close the workbook. This is a workbook name. This is my handle. And do you want to save that data? I would say no, I don't want to save that data because I just wanted to get the value. And then so close workbook. And the last action would be closing all the instances. So we can use close all instances and that's it. Just reset it and now try to run. So you can see that it has given us the value close workbook and close all instances and the process is completed and this is the value. So hope you like this video and it will be beneficial for your automation journey. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll be coming with new informational videos. Thank you. Thank you everyone.